back in my favorite place ever. This is the only place I can come that like, sorry, you guys are hearing my souvenir. Every time I come up here, I have to stock up on my very specific ground coffee because nothing in New York has ever come close. And you know what? If I open up a vintage store this year, like I say I'm going to, I'm going to strike a bargain with them and stock their coffee in my store to sell, like wholesale, because it's so good and I would simply be honored with my name attached to them but we're in rockport this is a little consignment store i always go into very hit or miss i actually got the scarf there so that was that was a hit but we're just taking a stroll i need i need a quaint town charm to heal my city soul right now here we go okay. nothing i knew it I don't even know what to do. I went to two vintage stores, closed. Three coffee shops, closed. Everything's closed on Monday. tomorrow and I I really couldn't wait another day probably can't tell how bad it is right now but like the way that it has grown out I feel like I have just like two two little dog ears on my head like my bangs are causing me misery so I thrifted this pillow cover like it looks like this on the inside and I just like fell in love with the pattern like I don't really think I can make any type of clothing garment out of it so I'm gonna make it into a little tote bag which I think would be really cute because it has this on the inside I was thinking of taking out this little Little lining here and using this as the straps and then the inside of the tote bag will just be like the quilts I think that'll be okay I don't know just let me do what I want okay in my head this is gonna be a really super quick thrift flip but let's see how long it actually takes me it is 10 14 a.m. okay I'm gonna start seam ripping the inside off the back. And while I do this, I'm gonna tell you a little secret. And my secret is that I have some plans in the work. My my big dream here in 2024 was to open up a vintage store. Still could be possible, but there have been a few setbacks. Also, there's like this inner monologue in my head of like, does New York City need another vintage store? Granted, I might be the cheapest vintage store in town. That could be good for the people. Um, but it's just something I'm passionate about. I wanna be a part of the community, you know? So so as a baby step in the meantime, I've been looking to get like a studio space and that's actually been also challenging more than I thought. A lot of them are like not that big and still like are literally four walls and still cost like 1.5k. I'm like, okay, well like a sink would be nice. What if I do an art project? A lot of them are like full too. I've been having trouble finding ones that are like have availability to like even apply to get the space. I think it will solve a lot of my problems because my apartment is like overflowing with all of my creative endeavors and projects and clothes and it's been really really hard to run a business out of that and hopefully too it'll like get me out of my room and I have like another place to work I'll sew there like maybe I can do more sewing because I never sew in my apartment because it's like a 5,000 step process to like whip out the sewing machine and that's what I'm excited about right now now I'm gonna flip it inside out like this sew along this line and this line like you guys know how to do that I'm sure you do setting the lining aside for the strap Looking great for a tote bag. Let's figure out the strap situation. I gotta like figure out all the loose ends right here too. Whoa, 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 stop, stop. Can you stop? Holy shit. So I decided this is gonna be the strap. This is gonna be the strap and I saved these two pieces because I'm gonna put it at the top of the bag to like tie it shut. I forgot to show you my tote bag. I finished it, made a TikTok and everything. I'm proud. I might have to figure out a local farmer's market to go to just to show her off. I've also just not done enough work today and I'm getting mad at myself. So we need to, we need to make some moves. Okay, ready for the reveal? Oh my God, so cute. I got those little ties up there from the, the ties of the pillow sham. My little, my little strap. Here's it on. Oh, it's so good. 
Yeah, I'm really excited about it. Actually, wait, let's test her out. What can we fit? It's a full pooter. A headphone. Ooh, she can handle it. She just looks a little weird like that. Bathrobe back on. Frigid, frigid, frigid. What should we eat, huh? Ooh, I don't know what's wrong with me. I'm just so tired. We're gonna do a quesadilla, and the thing is that I'm not even craving Mexican food a little bit. This is just the only ingredients we have to yield any type of outcome. Eat it. Oh my God. You're embarrassing me. Also, I usually hate cooking, but when you cook and you actually have like more than two ingredients and you have like counter space, it's really not that bad. Starting to feel the effects of living in a New York City shoebox for insane rent, but I just can't give it up. I love the lifestyle, okay? I bet I'm upsetting you with my onion cutting. Heard it before. The issue is that I just don't care. Why would I care? I'm gonna eat it. Eat your chicken bit. I wasn't sure if I was supposed to oil the pan, but I guess we'll find out. I probably actually should have turned this up higher too. When I get back, so tomorrow, I have my hair cut and it's at 2.45, which is a horrible time. But from that appointment, I'm driving straight back to New York City. So I'll probably get to New York at like 8 p.m., which is fine. But Thursday, my Mario Party's delivering and I can't wait. The nice little treat to look forward to. Pretty much, I think, New York Fashion Week starts, which is gonna stress me out. But also, I don't even think I'm invited to that many things, which is fine. When does it start melting? It's not looking good. We have some salsa, yum. What else was I gonna do? Eat my fiber gummies. Everybody could use a fiber gummy. It's not gonna hurt you, just help you. And I love eat, like I feel like I'm eating a treat. Mm, mm. Oh, now we're melting, now we're melting. It smells like burning, I knew it. Burning, come on, just wait. I'm flipping it over. Oh shit, shit starting to smoke again. We'll turn it off. Chill, chill over there, guys. Oh, I literally burned both sides, didn't I? Okay. No, please. Oh, come on. Oh, I'm getting it, I'm getting it. Yeah. I've been trying to organize my life here and somebody in my Instagram question box asked for behind the scenes. So I guess I'll show you. What day is it? Oh my God, we're already so deep into February. Here is my schedule for February so far. We're here. Tomorrow I have my hair cut at 2.45 p.m. with my cousin. Probably gonna take like an hour, so I'll probably get on the road by 4 p.m. and I'm driving back to New York City. Wake up Thursday morning, get my life together, probably like unpack and whatnot. Then that evening I have a New York Fashion Week backstage event, 5 to 7 p.m. I marked off New York Fashion Week because usually the schedule is like up in the air. A lot of last minute invites or whatever. Bold of me to assume I'm getting invited to literally anything else. I just didn't want to schedule a lot of work for myself and then get behind when I realized I had to attend an event or something. Sunday the 11th, I have a little film screening, which I think is in exchange for a TikTok. It's like fork and film. It's Pretty cool. Um, I don't know what my experience is gonna be yet, but they feed you the food that's like being shown in the movie. So if it was like Elf, you'd probably have the food that like Elf tries and makes. 12th, I have a New York Fashion Week brunch. Alex invited me to that, so I'm her plus one. 13th is Avery's birthday. Probably will have to do like a regular work day during the day if I don't have a New York Fashion Week event. At night, we're gonna take her out to dinner and then go to a cute little Italian bakery next door. But we're also surprising her. I emailed the QC spa on Governor's Island, pitched me and Kendall to make content in exchange exchange for all of us to go for free and they said yes. So we'll probably tell her that Tuesday night and then Wednesday during the day we'll probably go to that and that's like pretty much an all day thing like probably like 8 to 4 p.m. And the 15th work during the day in the evening I have a fur event which is like it's actually the shaving cream I use. I huge stands of them. The only only shaving cream and like ingrown hair serum that like actually works. I love them so getting getting invited to this I'm like really excited about but they have an event at Happy Medium which is like a collaging art studio and I'm really excited for that because I love an event that's like not drinking alcohol and like 
actually giving an experience type thing. 16th, I leave for Michigan and I don't know what I'm gonna do there, but hang out with Travis, celebrate Valentine's of some sort. So we have to focus on what I have to do right now because I'm getting a late start to my like to-do list of the day because I made that tote earlier. I'll show you what we got. These are always things that are like on the back burner so they kind of translate down from each day, but I have to check my credit card and then I have to get a new travel credit card. I'm Travis is gonna help me edit my website. I'm looking up studio spaces in Brooklyn. And then I also have to start my taxes and reach out to my accountant. For today specifically, I have to edit this, which is gonna take a lot longer because I have so many clips. I email that spa for Avery's birthday. I have a lot of other emails to answer. I have to make a pitch and DM it to this media agency. Probably won't be done today, but it's worth me starting. Reach out individually to the brands I've worked with this past year and request a different 1099 because I need to file it under my business instead of my personal. This is probably gonna end up on a back burner because that's gonna take a long time. I have a, another deal for this alteration of tailoring place, which is a really cool experience. I'm excited to edit that. I do some social media consulting work on the side. So Fernando sent me some videos and I have to edit these videos for him. I also have to send him a mood board of fabric because Fernando is helping me build my capsule wardrobe. We're doing a new drop for the little black dress. It's gonna be reversible. So black on one side, gingham on the other. I need to schedule a time to meet with him in person to feel the fabric samples. And I have a gift to drop off to my friend today. A lot of these things I can't get done all in one day, but they're all kind of relatively urgent and I, I tend to them as much as I can before they get moved to like the next day. And even if I can like cut into a little bit of it, it's better than nothing. I'm gonna see, I'm gonna answer my emails first. I don't know, I just, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do this, okay? I'll get back to you. Okay, so it's a new day. Day of my haircut, I'm returning to the city. I forgot that I told myself I was going to be hand painting a birthday card this morning for one of my friends that lives here. Shout out Elise, happy birthday. I'm just gonna whip one up really quick. I have about 45 minutes. I'm just gonna like go on Pinterest and find a little design I like. Okay, I'm gonna do this one, but she just turned 26. Simple, easy, straightforward. All right, here it is. The pen kind of bled, but it's fine. Okay, this is the best Salvation Army I've ever been to. It's in Worcester, Massachusetts. Second time here ever, so I really only had one good experience, but um, they changed up the whole store. This is now the dress section. So I'm starting here. There's way too many Zara racks. I'm getting upset at that. They do have a lot of nice scarves. I took two already. Selection of belts. I guess nothing too good. Oh wait, I want this one. Cool, fun. Red belt. See, like, none of that, please. Getting angry and mad because literally everything is Zara. We got a clue. What on earth? everything has sucked for a few things that I'm like on the fence about. This is the coolest thing that I found. It's like a penny lane jacket, but it is very stained in a lot of places. It's only $5, but like, unless I can clean it, it's still like not worth it. Really cute. This is like visually exciting to find. Same wave, I guess. Want it to be cool. I'm afraid to try it on. 
but you know this is like kind of in. This is a vintage company, SK and Company. I do like a little cardigan like this. And then this one I got excited about because I like the little off the shoulder thing, but there's too many little stains on it as well. So, so down bad in here that I got excited over a good fitting t-shirt. Haul of one. She made it, okay? I guess I'm gonna look on how to clean her, but if not, I'll wear her. Visually, she's so good, right? And then I looked it up on my Google Lens. She's retailing for 168 to 200, so we can invest $5 into that. So now I have 40 minutes until my haircut and I'm starving. Six minute drive from my hair cuttery. What is this place? Please have sandwiches, please have sandwiches. I don't really want these sandwiches. I'm here and I don't don't want to go in i'm afraid look scary and greasy and i just won't do it so i'm just gonna go to the gas station and get a portable snack listen i judged a book by its cover okay i went in there i was a big girl and i went in there this does not look scary at all and it was already pre-made so i didn't have to talk to anybody and it says small real italian and i love an italian sub i wish it would have listed what's in it but we're about to find out that's legit. Oh my god, there's some girls that rolled up next to me, so I'm gonna pretend like I was never doing this, but come on, that looks pretty good. Is that a pickle? Forgot to record, but I got my hair cut, and then I drove all the way back to New York City. I got back at 8 p.m., woke up the next day, and that is the next clip you're about to see. I'm going to a meeting, that's all I had to say, and Kendall's coming because we're both gonna work with the same people. I am testing fabric samples. Kendall's having her initial. Her initial meeting with them. Oh, did you see my bangs, guys? Okay. Are you excited, nervous? How are you feeling? We just fought about Hosier and Taylor Swift. Hosier. Ho Hosier. Hosier. Santa thinks Hosier, Hosier is ugly and she's goddamn wrong. Um, I didn't say he was ugly. I just don't think he's cute. He reminds me he of Howard cute. Stern. Everyone tells Sienna what's up. Well, of course you're gonna like him if you like his music. There's a lot of. Right there. Okay, sorry. So now what you're about to watch is later in the day, I had that New York Fashion Week event I was getting ready for, but I got dressed, hated my outfit, was gonna cry about it, and then went to Kendall's room and she was helping me fix my outfit. Why? I think it's it like so the cool. gray that's throwing me off. And like the different, we got this waistline, we got this waistline, we got this waistline. You need to step out of your box. I look so ugly on camera. You don't have to do the front, just the back. Oh, I look so bad. I hate it. I hate, I hate, I hate doing Fashion Week. They have so much pressure. Beauty content, I hate it. What time did it start? Five, but Nikki said to get there at 5.30. It's still, you're not gonna make it there for five I know. Well, it's either that or I look like a buffoon with ugly, ugly nails. You wouldn't look like a buffoon. No one would have noticed. Um, actually, they do because once upon a time we played a game in this house and somebody said something and it had to do with somebody having bad nails and I was the first person they thought of. And that will stick with me forever because I didn't know anyone else was inspecting my nails. Again, just a little dot at the bottom. One dot? A little glob, yeah. You, you do one dot? Yep, girl. And that stays on oh my for God, you, you that you long? Oh this crazily. Holy shit, I'm just a girl. I'm also starting to overheat. Guys, you've made some decisions today. Why? Doing your nails when you're already late. Okay, well... You know when you're wearing one thing outside your comfort zone that just feels like you're a phony? These glasses are making me feel like a phony because I'm not actually... I'm not actually this level of like Mew Mew model girl cool. So it's all in my head. It's all a stupid little game. It's literally like the Hunger Games. Like, wh like this is like the capital like show off week. But like also invite me. Thanks for inviting me. I'm meeting Nikki there though, so it's nice that I'll have a friend and I won't be scared. You know, I don't want to get up and I've been really good recently about getting up at like 6.30 
and I've been to the gym at like 7. Anytime I go to any event at night, like I'm affected the next day and I don't even like drink. It's just the fact that my body gets so exhausted from like trekking all the way into Manhattan in high heels and standing in high heels for three hours and then coming back and like that's like I feel like a little weenie but I guess I've just been running around from being at home and coming back here and stuff. I'm forcing myself to vlog because since I'm forcing myself to vlog, I'm gonna go to the gym. The heels that I was wearing yesterday were so high that like all of my weight were on the balls, were on the balls of my feet. My feet feel like there's just bruises on the bottom. I did a workout class yesterday morning. I'm doing like a month free of class pass and I hadn't worked out in four days, so obliterated all of my leg muscles. The other thing too, I don't know what I wanna do at the gym. I wish I could just get like pushed in a stroller to the gym, then I'll get out and do my work, but I just don't wanna walk there. That's also half the beauty of New York, okay? These are my nails I did yesterday as I was walking out the door. Also, I have an event with Alex tonight, and she said it starts at 10 p.m. Who's going? Because that's my bedtime. just feeling too naked guys I went to the gym I need to feed myself for the first time today or else I definitely won't be able to do anything I just want you guys to know I'm definitely not lazy I am on my grind 90% of the time sometimes I fall off and I with fashion week it's very easy to fall off This is my fake plate, and I thrifted it once. I have a fear that it has lead in it, but I guess I'll never know. What's happening? Mario party delivered. I got, I got an email. Sitting here trying to do my work. You saw me, but then I just got an email. <sighs> you got it. It's mine. Oh my god. Ought to be broken. I will jump off our roof. Ah! Ooh, let's play now. Let's go. It's not dumb, I promise. This guy's just stupid. Oh, slaying! I go first. Oh, I'm winning! <laughs> I get a candy. Okay, no problem. Okay, I didn't land on any fancy 